All rise. I want viewers watching my show to believe in themselves. Judge Hatchet is compelling. I was not the first one to throw a walk. Let me just tell you what you just said. Compassionate. I really enjoy being a judge. Now I am touching people who I will never know I touch. She's powerful. You should have never let them walk out of your life when she was three. And she's on the bench. Don't get me preaching up in here today. Right. You're watching The Verdict with Judge Hatchet. Dan Tucker is suing his stepson Calvin Smithson in the amount of $3,000. Mr. Tucker claims he gave Mr. Smithson a loan to start a car flipping business, but he never paid it back. Mr. Smithson claims the plaintiff pressured him to move out, creating a financial hardship which made it impossible to repay the loan. Mr. Tucker, you are suing Calvin. I hate the word stepson, stepdaughter, stepchildren, stepmom, all of that. But the reality is that that's how we commonly refer. This is your wife's son. Correct, yes. All right, so you have, you're suing him for some $3,000 and you're saying that he needs to pay it back. What happened? Very simply put, Your Honor, um, I've been in his life for a number of years now. Um, there's been talk about trying to do something with his life. Uh, now he's in his mid-twenties. We've seen very little evidence of that happening. Um, I know that from past conversations he's had a dream of uh, being a business owner, um, wanting to have a garage, an auto mechanic that he could call his own. Are you good with cars and mechanics? And Yes, I'm really good. I work with my hands. And so has that been your dream, to own your own business? Uh, yes, Your Honor. And to do something with cars specifically? Absolutely. All right, so what happened, Mr. Tucker? So he, I was approached with the idea that to start a business, he could start buying and selling cars for a profit, that he could call them car flipping is what the term that he was given me. Yeah. And that he asked me for a loan to give him some working capital to start buying and selling cars to create some money for himself and start his new venture. All right, so Calvin, you wanted to start this business. Yes. You go to Dan and you say, if you'll loan me this money, I can flip cars. So that everybody understands, you buy cars, you fix them up, and then you sell them for a profit. Yeah, it was right. perfect for me. So tell me the plan for the business. So essentially, um, my plan was to go to the pick and pull, buy parts, used cars, old cars, you know. I do the repairs, I'm the one in charge of the labor, um, fix them up, and then I resell them for a higher price, make a profit. All right, and so you'd agree to lend him the money? I did indeed lend him the money. Okay, so you lent him the money. He lent you the $3,000? Yes, he did. Okay, and have you paid the $3,000 back? No, I haven't. And uh, why not? Uh, because it hasn't quite worked out the way I planned it. Uh, as in any business, it takes you know at least five years to make a profit, and I'm not that far into my business yet. Are you still in the business? I'm currently taking a break from the business. Oh, how long have you taken the break from the business? It's been about four or five months right now. All right, so Dan, what happened about this $3,000? Tell me what happened. Well, um, as he said, he attempted to try the business. I think over the course of a year, I'm guessing purchased and sold three cars. And the reality was there was very little profit uh, due to supplies and parts and what have you, registrations. And he figured out pretty quickly that the cost of doing business is not what he thought it was. And so uh, came to me and announced that uh, after three attempts, this isn't going to work. And he called it a failure. And I said, no, I'm, I'm going to support you. I'm going to stick with it. You have to stick with it. And uh, he said, no, I'm going to walk away. And he promptly washed his hands of it and said, I'm not going to do this. I'll get another job and I'll pay you back I said, day. I'm just taking a break. I didn't quit. It's not over. It's just I was in a hole and I'm in a bind. So I'm taking my time to kind of recoup and this rebuild so I can do it. This is what I've been listening to for the last year. Uh, excuse yeah. after excuse after excuse. It never changes. So up until this point, his only business venture was sitting on a couch playing video games. I saw a way out. I tried to help. Which is not true because... So what have you done for the last several years? I mean, you're in your mid-20s. How old are you? I'm 25. So you're 25 years old. Did you finish high school? I did finish high school. So what have you done from the time that you graduated from high school to the time that Dan loaned you the money? I've been working, you know. Uh, I was the one who formulated the idea, you know. I had to learn how to be a mechanic and fix up cars in that meantime. 
You know, that's not something that everyone knows how to do. So have you had a job since high school before you started doing this business? Yes, absolutely. Uh, a steady job? Yeah, I, I'm a busser at a restaurant as well. Okay. Your Honor, he hasn't been able to hold down a job since day one. It's never been a, a surprise. The only thing he's held down is a couch. You so know, he lives with you, you and your wife? You couldn't even hold down my mom, so he it's all right. Well, he used to until he ran out. That was really not, that wasn't necessary. Well, he's not my dad. Well, but you've lived in his home. It was my mom's home before he moved in. So all right, it was so, my home. But it's your home, I get that. But it's also his home because he's married to your mother now. Coming up on The Verdict with Judge Hutchett. It sounds like to me that you've abandoned the business. I haven't. I said I'm taking a break. Well, you're taking I'm a break. I'm recouping. You're recouping. And later. Online high school diploma is what it says. Yeah, and, and at the end of the course, if they pass, they get a high school diploma. Basically from our school, yes. My Honor. Yes. What I got was a useless piece of paper. The Verdict with Judge Hatchett is back with the case of Dan Tucker, who is suing Calvin Smithson for $3,000. Calvin, did you contribute to rent? No. Did you contribute to utilities? I did not. Food? No. So you were just there with no expenses? Uh, correct. And you lived there from the time that you... For all the time. You just recently moved out. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay, so now the business didn't go well. According to Dan, you abandoned the business and you got another job. So as, in addition to being a server, what else are you doing? Uh, I also work night stocking Target as well. So Okay, so I, you're, stock, you're stocking Yes, yeah, so that's a what store. I do at nighttime. Okay, so you're doing that. So you've got two jobs. Yeah. What is the plan, if there is a plan, to repay the $3,000. Um, well, pretty much I'm just still trying to take care of the debt from the business in the first place. I, you know, I will, you know, he's correct. It hasn't been panning out the way I wanted it to be. It takes time to build a business. Your Honor, he's adding insult to injury. Not only did he move out, he moved in with his girlfriend who charged rent. He didn't pay any rent when, we, when he lived with us. So then he went out, he took on rent, additional expenses. Now he claims he works two jobs. I don't see it. While you're doing all of this, have you at least gone to Dan and said, let me work out a payment plan? I haven't formulated one yet, but that's also because in the agreement, you know, not, first of all, nothing was written. Nothing's written in stone. It's a handshake agreement. But you, know? you acknowledge that he loaned you the $3,000. He did loan me, but he also didn't mention that he's the one who pressured me to do my business in the first place. I wasn't necessarily ready to get it started, but he wanted to make that push because he calls me lazy, like I'm not doing anything. Well, maybe the push was encouragement that you ought to do something other than being at home with not a really clear plan for your life. Well, not everybody has it figured out right away, you know? No, you're right, you're right. But tell me why you shouldn't pay him this money back. Because I don't have the money. <laughs> uh, I, I have to work two jobs just to pretty much stay steady right now. So I don't understand where all this extra income is from anyway. And specifically in the agreement, I told him that I would pay him once the business is in profit. I didn't say I would give back any of the money until Your Honor, I'm in the profit. Well, it sounds I'm not there like yet. to me, I, I got this, I've got this, Mr. Tucker. It sounds like to me that you've abandoned the business. I haven't. I said I'm taking a break. Well, you're taking I'm a break. I'm recouping. You're recouping. In the meantime, you've been loaned this $3,000. You're going to have to figure out a way to repay this $3,000 because I don't know how long this break is going to last. I mean, it's just temporary and I'm already in the hole as it is. Just I get it. I get it. But your word ought to be your bond. That's what my daddy used to tell me all the time. So this is what's going to happen. You're going to have to come up with a payment plan. And I do not think that it is unreasonable for you to figure out how to pay $200 a month over 15 months. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $3,000 stretched out in periodic payments monthly of $200 for the next 15 months. But let me say this, you don't know when you're gonna have to go back and depend on him for something. I know that he's your stepfather, he's married to your mother now, there may be some resentment, but he's right. You need to take responsibility, you need to stand on your own two feet, and I'm hoping that that's the path you're on that's now. That's exactly Nothing what Nothing further, we'll stand adjourned. Judge Hatchett has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant has been ordered to pay $3,000. Had I known you'd been hounding me for this money this whole time, I wouldn't even have taken that $3,000.
Use this as a lesson in business and in life. When you say you're going to do something, like pay me, do it. Coming up. Online high school diploma is what it says. Yeah, and, and at the end of the course, if they pass, they get a high school diploma. Basically from our school, yes. My honor. Yes. What I got was a useless piece of paper. Franklin Brooks is suing Jonathan Rene in the amount of $1,130. Mr. Brooks claims Mr. Rene's GED online course is a scam and he wants his money back. Mr. Rene claims the plaintiff did not follow up with the school's career center and that is why he did not get the results expected. Good day, Mr. Brooks. You are suing the defendant for some $1,130. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And basically, you were trying to get your GED. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And tell me, just start at the beginning. Tell me. How can I say this? I was trying to go take an online college course, and I've, you know, come across a couple of few. And if you can see here, this is a copy of the defendants and the one that I actually wanted to apply Before to. Before I get there, I want yes. to know your story. Well, when I was 14, my mom passed away in a car accident. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Yes, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to talk about, but um, at that moment, I knew that I had to grow up a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. And when I was 16, I found a job, you know, gave me full time. I decided to drop out of high school. I did what I had to do to help me, my little sister, and my grandmother, because after my mom died, that's where we was placed in my grandmother's house. Mm -hmm. I always wanted to go to the military, though. I always wanted to serve my country. With that, I know that I needed a high school diploma or an equivalent degree of some sort. Right. So I went to the local community college, and I thought I was going to try to start a program down there. But with my work schedule being so hectic the way it was, I... She recommended that I do online courses. And who's she? Uh, the counselor. The counselor. Trump, yeah. the, okay. And uh, it, we come to like she uh, Jackson University. That was the one that she always raved about. That was the one she talked the most highly about. And from when she showed me on the computer at that moment, everything seemed great. Everything seemed perfect, you know. But I didn't have all the information to start right then and there. Right. So I waited till I got home to uh, fill out the application. When I got home, my computer. I don't know how I typed it in or whatever, but it led me to the defendant's website. And what's your website, sir? Basically, it's a website to, to educate students, uh, to get them as basically going through everything they would need to get a diploma in high school. Did you advertise that if they went to your program, that that would be equivalent to a high school diploma? It actually says it would be the equivalent education of, of a high school diploma. So, do we have evidence of what the website said? Yeah, yeah, I have, like, right here, blatantly, if you guys want to... So, if I'm thinking that I need to have equivalent to a high school diploma mm -hmm. to go to the military, would I not believe that your program would satisfy that requirement? If you contacted our services, which wait, you wait, can wait, wait, at any wait, time. Wait, wait, but this is an online program, yes? yes? Can I go to this website and expect, I would expect that I would be able to get the equivalent of a high school diploma. Online high school diploma is what it says. Yeah, and, and at the end of the course, if they pass, they get a high school diploma. Basically from our school, yes. My honor. Yes. What I got was a useless piece of paper. Coming up. Basically, it allows children and, and kids and students, even adult students, to actually go and learn. This isn't anything. This is nothing. A verdict with Judge Hatchett is back with the case of Franklin Brooks, who is suing Jonathan Rene for $1,130. Does this qualify as a high school diploma? As a, as a GED, no, no. But it, it is a high school diploma. It's our, it's our official Jackson College high school diploma. And There's who certified this? Where do you, are you certified do. in the state? In the state for, for, for teaching? Yes, we are. Not and for, are you certified to issue high school diplomas? Not by the Then system. how can you go online and say online high school diploma? Because it is a diploma from our school. Can you tell me with that, with that degree that I will be able to uh, require a job after my, my, my training there? That no, he we has, need you to go to the military. Exactly. I have a job. There's, the job that he was requiring me, I already have that in my possession. I'm looking to, like, 
Better Ta yourself. Exactly. Step a step, take a step further. There, excuse me, ma'am. In, 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 on my website, there's nowhere where it says that for military purposes or for for educational purposes in that sense. The website do do is purely the educational. The idea is to, to fulfill the promise that a lot of high schools aren't doing. That's, that's the issue. What my website does is, is basically it allows children and, and kids and students, even adult students, to actually go and learn. This isn't anything. This is nothing. What you are advertising is fraudulent. Online high school diploma, it doesn't say it's just a piece of paper that's not accredited or certified by anybody. I'm just making this up and giving it to you so you feel better. That is just craziness. The, I, the idea you. of the website is so that people become educated. That's the whole idea. That's, that's well, why, then you need that to say dream. that. You need to say this is an enrichment program and you're going to take you. high school classes, but it does not lead to a high school diploma. Judge Hatchett's verdict when we return. This is terribly misleading. I don't think it's coincidental that your school is called Jackson College High School and the other one is called Jackson University High School. The difference in the cost for your school is $500. The cost for the program that's legit and would have given him what he needed to go to the military is only $30 more. You are really creating a horrible situation for a lot of people who are coming in relying on this. Not only are you gonna pay him the $1,130, cause you gotta pay, he took your course, which is a waste of money. Now he's gotta go get another course, for he another five thirty, he's going to spend one hundred dollars to take the exam. That's eleven thirty. But I think this was fraudulent, so I'm rounding it up to an even five thousand dollars because it wasted your time, your money, your energy, and you relied on something was fraudulent. I'm taking a recess because I'm getting ready to call the state. Court is adjourned. Judgment for the plaintiff for five thousand dollars. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Judge Hatchett has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant has been ordered to pay five five thousand dollars. No, I made the right decision to bring you to court today. You are fraud, and so is your school. I, I am sorry that you're unhappy with our services, but I'm sticking with my program.